Alright, oh, I've got the chance to tattle. God dang it. <laughs> hey guys, we're playing more Genshin here, not Minecraft. <laughs> The Kaya hangout. Well, can you beat the shit out of her while I get all the dead stuff? There you go. There you go. Proper. <laughs> proper title there. So yeah. We have Genshin here. We got the wishes for Kokomi and the Wanderer for people who miss out on that. As well as their... Their... Um... Their uh, weapons as well. Which I'm trying to get the Traveler, the Wanderers, not the Travelers, the Wanderers, uh, weapon. But I need more Primo Gems. No time to lose. I ain't not showing what I think you think I'm gonna show. That's a no. <laughs> I'm not like Mary. Also, if you hear screaming in the background, I'm watching, uh, a friend of mine playing Dead by Daylight. They released Nicolas Cage on there. <laughs> And they're like attacking anybody that's in this cage currently, which is kind of funny. <laughs> so you just hear screaming, that's from them. But yeah, it's gonna be a little minor relaxing stream. I'm more rich. <laughs> Alright. Artifacto will be there. Hey, Kun. Why? Shang Shun. Give me all of it. Alright, thanks man. Alright, I need to go to... <laughs> I'm doing... Try and get uh, Ayaka's sword all the way leveled up. Cause I great upgraded it uh, last Genshin stream. A lot to get that sort up. Wait a minute. I just have a thought. Do I have Kukumi's weapon? Uh, Catalyst, Catalyst. That one I can be crafted. Uh, that's crafted. Crafted. Nope. I don't have Kukumi or the Wanderers. Like cannon weapons, like Tenari. And like Diaz weapon or Kaza's spare sword, and then Ichin's spare sword. No! <laughs> These are just extras. But yeah. God dang it. <laughs> Shall see the cheater of three. He once had three lives. He ain't a sailor. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get, fool. <laughs> Try and play with three women lives. <laughs> Try and be a player. Hello, robot, robot lady. Hey, Master Zhang. Give me all your stuff. Oh. I already bought it. <laughs> I wonder who's gonna be the blacksmith of Fontaine. Would there even be a blacksmith of Fontaine? Or is it gonna be like, uh... Not be like a mech <laughs> creator. Nagi hoto me. Thank you. 
still thinking about the former times. Out of the damn boy. <laughs> Uh -huh. She's like, no. That's Makoto. <laughs> if you guys don't know the lore, that's Makoto, the the twin uh, Electro Archon that died. Because we have E, the little sister. That one's the older one. One for politics, one for war. <laughs> Hidden <laughs> by light and shadow. <laughs> I wonder how Fontaine's gonna be. Faruna. <laughs> I wonder how, how she's gonna act like. And bored. Hump the boredest of Archons. Or like immature of them all. Because Nikita's like mature for being young. <laughs> like 500 years. Don't know what Falakar's gonna be like. <laughs> for how old she would be. <laughs> I will laugh. She's like, we have Zhang Li that's like 10,000 years old. Benti that's like almost the same age with Raiden Shogun. And then we have Nahida, 500 years old. And then we have Full, <laughs> full of Cars. She's 50 years old. <laughs> 50 year old child, like freaking <laughs> Baby Yoda. Hey. Hey guys, what are you still doing here? <laughs> oh, what are you two doing? Ooh. Oh, it's a raid. <laughs> and Naughty left. Hold on. <laughs> my god. <laughs> Her cage matches, my god. Um, sorry guys. Uh... There you go. Continue. And then... Like, I like how you call him uncle. There you go. Snap dragon tofu, lotus heads. 
Snap dragons. In this forest? Are you mad? No time to lose. Here you go. I know where the other two are. <laughs> Alright. Just be a native. <laughs> Half native. I'm a step behind. <laughs> Alright. Because I did. I did the samurai last time I did this. For now I wanna cosplay as as Nicholas Cage and face off. <coughs> no, that's Scooby Doo. Who burps? I just know it doesn't burp North Lab. That's the spirit. Alright. I knew it. Because I know I did the other guy. <laughs> I did the samurai beforehand. Where is it? Friendship, eight characters. Oh, is it Toma? It's Toma! I have Toma. <laughs> I still love his voiceover. <laughs> All right, I gotta end that. Guess not. <laughs> Ninety nights already done playing. Uh, still love like <laughs> how <laughs> Toma thinks about uh, <laughs> Miko. Lady Miko? Uh, what about her? <laughs> Every time Miss Kamisato sends me out to deliver messages, my least favorite destination is the Grand Narakami Shrine. Oh, uh, not because Lady Miko scares the bejeebers out of me. It's, uh, respect. Yes, she strikes respect deep into my heart. <laughs> I am so glad when I cosplay as Toma, I did not see a Yay Miko because I would do that too. <laughs> like, ah, Yay Miko. Uh, uh, hello, madam. Lady Miko. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I see Raiden Shogun. It was like, ah, oh, you're not going to steal my vision. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is a detective for the Tenryo Commission. He seems to have his own way of doing things, not the easiest person to get along with. Also, any situation that involves a detective is probably not one that's going to end well. <laughs> I think I'll keep on giving him a wide berth. So I need more fire. Oh wait, who's the one that need to level up faster? Um, the... I just need to defeat that guy twice. Level Zhongli. Hmm. I know I was trying to level Mr. Zhongli. I am far from having that, because I did Kaya the other day. And I did official. Those, those guys are done. <laughs> Tinari, because I load up Kale, it's cross. I just need nine more. Diluc, yeah. <laughs> it's not just I'm lazy, it's just like, uh. Should love Kujusara and Ryan Shogun, then. They're the only ones, but I hate that beast. Oop. I hate that beast. Hmm. Alright, where's the other two commissions? 
Tatarasuna and Higi Village. Alright. Oof. There you go. The dangerous thunder frogs. Climb, man. Climb. <laughs> Climb. <laughs> nope. There we go. I wonder what... If did you and Kaya's, I should actually do, like, a Jean's or, like, Lisa's hangout, too. It's just Kaya. Ah! I follow the wind. Okay, the T village. Is it literally just Kaya? Let me check this. Story quest. It is just Kaya. Wow. <laughs> I would love if you had Razor. <laughs> you wild boy. I ending like Kave. I might do that off camera because you guys are going to be self bored of doing the same interactions. Ah, it's meter. Missions Fini. But yeah, I was talking earlier to my uh, friends, streaming family. <laughs> really need to make charts. Need to remind myself to make charts. But I tell them, like, I doing, I made a. I emailed someone to do a commission for me, like. You know the little wiggles that some VTubers have when they're like chatting with others? I found the person that make them and their commissions were open, so I uh... I sent a letter that I want one as well and I'm willing to pay. She accepted and it's gonna be complete somewhere around next month, like being done and everything. Like process and everything, but like I'm happy because I want to see what my character looks like really like Wiggly. <laughs> Wiggly with two swords. <laughs> okay, uh... Roberto's Mirage is still here. 20 days. That means during August, it's still here. Guessing that includes the brothers. So... Three brothers here... The main man here, the lady here, with a random dude, random dude here, and a random lady here. They're not real. Those are Hydroidelians. Transform into them. As well as the, the lady, the owner of this place. She's the Hydro boss <laughs> in the, you know, Geeching Village, that boss. I just love the Hydro Edelians. I just I hate it when they're like evil. I've seen the preview of them evil in Fontaine. Cause look, they look so lovely and cute. Like I want to see them transform into people. Uh, 
Hello? Who are you? I've never seen you here and look at that hair. Is that Fontaine hair? <laughs> it's a hot pot. <laughs> it's a Korean, like an Asian hot pot. That's what this is. This Fontaine <laughs> person that did this. What? How do you figure it out so quickly? <laughs> but it's like, I'm surprised to see that. Like, who are you? <laughs> is there any other transformed people that are, like, not here? I want to feed you more. <laughs> Any other transform hy hydroidelions? How about Rodia? Huh? Rodia? Have you met her? Where did she find a place for herself? Xing Xing Village? Is that in Liwei? You really must have gone far away, Rodinia. So Idelia and Rodinia are both the same species. Rodinia is very, uh, she's an, they're both oceanids, but they are, uh, very quite different personalities. Rodinia is like the personal, um, servant of the former Hydro Archon. So that's the ones that we gotta fight later on. They're full of pain and hatred. We gotta purify them by killing them. <laughs> They're provided water, apparently. Uh, I don't want to meet more like kind Oshinids, you know? I just want to see if there's any more like Transformer, Transform Edelian people. <laughs> Says that lady. He's like, I didn't see her at all during this mission. He's like, girl, you never appeared. <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> I will laugh if one of these vendors, imaginary vendors, have like the bount bountiful year recipe. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, that's the same thing. I'm just going through the, t the different dialogues. Sounds redundant, but... Alright, it's the same thing. Because <laughs> then that's the dialogues are like hidden stuff. There we go. But her hairstyle, like, that's not a leeway hair, not leeway or a Sumeru hairstyle, isn't it? Right? That definitely looks like a Fontaine hairstyle. Any other, uh, change of dealings besides her? That's a Sumerian person that exists. <laughs> the real one exists. Oh, there's this one. Mandora. Hello. Former. No. 
should have said I'd stop adventuring in Mundora's steed. <laughs> So, this true Mandora is out there in the world. <laughs> I got these people. So, huh. They are rando people that I have not met before <laughs> around here. <laughs> That's two random NPCs that I have never met before. That means I gotta check all over the place again for any other hidden NPCs. Hydro transform Idyllian NPCs. <laughs> Any around here? Because there should be some for the shop. I think about it. Guess not. No time to lose. And here. <laughs> this Chat Leon. <laughs> oh, those guys are still there. Oh, look, it's the red slime's Klee, the little blue slime is Kokomi, the green little mushroom is Kale, <laughs> and the giant slime with the ice hat is Kaya, and the flying ice <laughs> mushroom is Eula. <laughs> Let's hit that one. Let's see, what's in, uh, in the little circus one? If there's any side NPCs. Oh, you three. No time to lose. I will laugh if there's like a Lene or a Lynette just chilling here with blue hair. <laughs> there's that guy. La Fente. La Fente. And then there's Basima, a Sumerian. No time to lose. Bastard. <laughs> Eh? What's that? No time to lose. Yeah, child, you wanna shoot the damn fucking camera? <laughs> so there's a boar. Oh, that's that. Okay, there's no spare uh, NPCs over here. Is that really? Only those two from the city? Quote unquote city? Well, I gotta check the siblings over there, and then the main guy. After this area. Is the one that says no cheating still right there? Yep. <laughs> 
found you. My turn now. No cheating. <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> okay, over there. Enough fountains to let have justice, but I don't know if the current Hydro Archon is considered the god of justice with her attitude <laughs> from the previous. He's like, ah, yawn. <laughs> Bored. You dare attack me? It was self defense. <laughs> like, that was self defense, fool. <laughs> yep. So, no new. No Hydro Doldens here. Check over here. So that was a pain in the ass. He was in a pot right there. Right by the right. <laughs> like, he doesn't glow, the bastard. <laughs> yeah. Alright. This conductor here? Yep, Zamonis. Another Fontaine. We have our ways of communicating. <laughs> so, are you an Oceate or a Hydro Adolian? <laughs> And the one about the Brex ship right by the waterfall was curse, like English translate error. It was supposed to be the Titanic, but it says broke back mountain parody, and that's a bad parody to do, because there's kids playing this game, <laughs> and that movie it's not for a kid to watch. <laughs> no time to lose. No time to lose. It's like I have my ships right there too. Alright, that's the wheel up here. Um, I want to see where the three brothers are. Yeah. This is awesome nature tech.
I just like seeing all the different parts again. Yeah, I finished the event and stuff. I think you can write a track if I remember correctly. Let's see. Write them? Yep. Can ride the train tracks. Technically. <laughs> Time to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's that way. Oh, it's, I think it's there over there. Okay, yeah, I goes back to the tree. No time to lose. Ah, oh, here they are. No time to lose. There's that one. Yeah, it's this way. <laughs> Question mark? Crush mark. <laughs> no time to lose. Oh, here's one of the brothers. Hi, do. Yo. Oh. You want to talk about your backstory? <laughs> now there's even be like other <laughs> areas. Like there is so much potential lost here. I'm kind of, kind of saddened. <laughs> Like, I want to see a Hydro Edelion of myself, you know? <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> Obvious <laughs> dirt mound. That's like the time uh, we buried the wine that Razor made for the Wind Bloom Festival. <laughs> and so it was Razor's parents. What if I go back here? Oh, just... It's just a... Just this. All right. All right. And my currency is maxed. Let's see. Hey, Debbie. This realm is truly. Those are all nines. Uh, Rem Depot. Cause I need to buy all these <laughs> before the Fontaine furniture stuff come out. Cause trust me, people. If you don't buy all this stuff, you're gonna have like a fucking massive catalog of unbought stuff. <laughs> Prince Weeping Fish. <laughs> okay, three, six, eight. All right. Have an adeptus name. It's just awfully difficult to remember. What was it again? Ah, yes, Rain Calmer. 
There was once a time of unending battle when the land was swept by great storms and neither the sun nor moon would shine. Uh. The king and our old friends longed for days of sunshine and thus they gave me this name. That is why I always take on the color of the blue sky, no matter what form I take when presenting myself to others. I did fish already. I think it's just Chi Chi and Chun Chun. Right? I don't remember. Do you have it out here? It's this one. Damn, Tenari and Wonder, you're both fancy. Did Bennett before? Give event has yet to be completed. Hey, Chi Chi. Hello. Oh, it's you. I remember you. Um, nice, peaceful. <laughs> I can do my stretches in the daytime without anyone watching. And. There aren't too many things to, uh, remember. Notebook? Notebook. Notebook? Who is that again? <laughs> notebook, notebook. Noto, noto, noto. Nani kore wa? <laughs> no need. I will be fine. Don't forget, Chi Chi is stronger than she looks. Yes, and I have a C6 Chi Chi, so I can revive the dead. With the <laughs> elemental burst. So I think Chun Chun is. Oh, he's right here? Wait, where? Chun Yun. Sneaky cat boy. What are you doing, Chun Chun? How did you know that I was worrying about finding a place to practice? Simple tents and a traveler's pack? Ah, practicing here would be great. Good thinking setting this up around your house. Many thanks for the trouble you went to. There we go. Gets me stuff too. <laughs> if event is yet to be completed. This place, yes. When I was get so. There we go. There we go. No time to lose. So then they're both settled in. So I'm asking Chun. Well? Strange anecdotes. 
Rumors of evil spirits? If you come across such news, please remember to share them with me. <laughs> How do you like here? If you ask me, it would be a nice place to settle down in. This realm isn't as cool as the snowy mountains, but I don't need to worry about being scorched by the sun. <laughs> I have a very friend 10, so it's going I can constantly do that on eating. <laughs> since there's no need to worry about the effects of my yang energy. Naturally, <laughs> I can assure you of that. Anyway, thank you for inviting me to such a cozy place. If you need anything from me, I'll help out. Have you been well? Strange anecdotes. All right. All right. I actually just had an infuriating experience. It was a Xing Shou? Like <laughs> Not too long ago, I heard someone talking about a book called Anecdotes of Demons and Oddities. I spent a lot to buy a copy. Oof. Who would have thought that this book was all about some dastardly immoral villain? It was really hard to control my anger. It took half a day to get my breathing and blood pressure under control. Uh. The label? No, I wasn't bothered by the book's title. <laughs> what made me angry was, how could there be such an atrocious person on this earth? If I ran into them, I definitely... Whoa. Whoa. Calm down. You gonna turn evil cat boy meow meow? Chung Yun? <laughs> you, you mean this person isn't real? It's fiction. But it's the plot's a book. twists and turns felt like they were unfolding right before my eyes. That's uh, that's the beauty of books and mangas. <laughs> I mistakenly believed. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I made a fool of myself. Have you been well? Strange anecdotes. Uh, I'd like to invite you to eat two flavor hot pot with me. Eh? I don't know, because of my constitution, I can't eat food until it has completely cooled down. I've always thought it was a pity that I was unable to eat at the same time as you. Is he After blushing? Deliberation, I finally thought of a solution in two flavor hot pot. A partition is placed onto a steaming Liyue-style pot to divide the soup into two sides. This way, I can enjoy a light soup base, even if you have Jue Yun chili soup as yours. Also, hot pot ingredients are usually thinly sliced, so I can quickly cool them down in a bowl of ice water before eating. He's, he's freaking blushing! <laughs> you... you already agreed? In other words... We can go soon? Yes. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Your face is really red. I, uh, I'm fine. It's red! <laughs> everything went better than I thought. I, I'm a little too happy. I'll be fine in a moment. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I remember it. Morning. Don't forget your things. Ah. May yeah, Chun Chun already have a. Uh, is it? Level ten friendness. So does Fischl and Bennett, if I remember correctly. Resto, <laughs> Resto Romento. <laughs> this bed's not amber. Let's have Paimon. Paimon's too thick <laughs> to be with Chi Chi. <laughs> That's funny. Paimon is too thick <laughs> for a little floater. <laughs> Alright. I know Deluxe right there. Um. I went. I already got Bennett over here. And I think Diona. One stat. All right. I can go to the house. <laughs> that wasn't a thing before. Should have told me earlier. Game.
So this is just Toma and Ka Karaha <laughs> Kazu. Hey Toma. Oh hey, you're back. So how goes the journey? Give me all. <laughs> he literally is like a bartender. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be fine. Belief, by the way, I really like what you've done with the place, especially that funny little bird at the entrance. Gotcha. Tubby the teapot spirit. Wait, what? <laughs> I've heard my share of stories, everything from fox envoys to Baka Danuki to Tengu warriors, but a teapot spirit? That's a new one. Hmm, interesting. So that teapot yokai, I, I mean spirit, teapot spirit, did you catch it yourself? Not a yokai? So, just out of curiosity, this tubby doesn't happen to be some sort of god or anything, does it? That would spell the end for me. I, uh, couldn't help but pat it on the head when I came in. <laughs> <laughs> so let's rest Toma. Put you right here, Kazu. Hello there. There was a familiar scent upon the wind. I g you smelled me? <laughs> there was a familiar scent in the wind. I guess that's you would come. You smelled me? <laughs> Where's the option says, you smelled me? <laughs> hmm. I heard that the maple leaves back home have already turned red. I want to go back and take a look, but it, I was wandering the market the other day and saw, although I can't confirm whether they're from my hometown, indeed, from a purely visual perspective, red maple leaves have a unique beauty to them. Every year in my hometown, people enjoy the scene of falling red leaves. The maple leaves are a crimson sunset and fall like scarlet rain. I'm so confused. Does Kazuya live in Tartarasuna or Rito? Chirping of autumn insects. Ah, how improper of me. I should have taken the initiative to invite you. But I was absorbed by my own home. Thank you. Then take this maple leaf as a keepsake. When the maple leaves next bloom red. All right. <laughs> Kazuya already good. That means this set here. Yes. And it's just extra furniture. Ooh. So I need to make Spirit of the Bandits Banquet and five. <laughs> yep, counter cell dining chairs. And then a lifting growth uh, plant, I guess. <laughs> I do have this to get. <laughs> I'll have them to be like, thank God I have a place to rest away from Kave. This one I want to make, but I don't have this! Because it's stupid, I need to trade with somebody. If you just need to trade with somebody, get that freaking inside dead mission out. <laughs> this is the only thing I have in the other room. Yep. So, <clears throat> it's just Yao Yao and Bye Show. Everyone else has been rejected. 
I like how they gave Cleve the little hat. Yes. Oh. Seeing it goes. Why is this so huge? <laughs> Just put the fish tank there. that there. Uh, it's ceiling. <laughs> okay. And that one. Let's put the... Let's see... Put that guy in there. There we go. It's like a little angel fish. <laughs> oh yeah, so it's Yao Yao and Baisho. So they are all the way over here. Little Yao Yao. Is it really? Um. I can just take these to the rest. Okay. Have a little yao yao here. And then where's my show? There we go. This kitchen looks like a convenient place for not only cooking, but also making decoctions. Thank you for inviting me here. Hmm. This small stove will do nicely, and I already have all the other equipment with me. It's a great relief knowing I won't have to keep my patients waiting. Thank you. So that's my show. And where's Yao Yao? <laughs> Ooh, I can definitely whip up tons of great meals with all these kitchen implements. Oh, don't you worry. I've learned a thing or two from Shangling. Even Master really enjoys my food. Is there anything you'd like to eat? Just tell me, and I'll make it for you right away. I should do their chat. Mika's there because his friendship's they say low. that a person's residence is an accurate reflection of their character, and I find it to be quite sensible. Now that I've seen your realm within for myself, yes, you indeed possess a most intriguing character. My way of living differs slightly from those of others, but please don't worry about it. <laughs> I've brought everything that's important to me. After all, it's a doctor's responsibility to take care of themselves first and foremost. Ah, just a few things for my personal use. I'm not in the best physical condition, and have to take my medicine as soon as something begins to flare up. 
That's why I carry a medicine box wherever I go. Apart from the medicine, there are also quite a few bottles and jars in my possession. They're heavy and take up a lot of space, so I didn't bring too many of them along. Thank you, but there really is a lot. Is it a mansion size? The owner of this place, <laughs> and I don't want to take excessive advantage of your hospitality. <sighs> Look at him, mincing his words and trying to be polite. Let me explain. If you ask me, a lot is a grave understatement. You wouldn't believe how many of those jars there are. It'd probably take more than one empty room for everything to fit. Think twice before you say yes. It's fine. Hmm. Let me write up a list then. I'll ask Gwei to bring them over. <laughs> you seriously think he'll be able to carry everything on his own? Even if he got Chi-Chi to help, it'd still be impossible to bring them all in one go. Perhaps I should take a trip back to the pharmacy to pack everything up and have them delivered a few boxes at a time. How much do you fit in a tiny pharmacy? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit of a hassle to deal with. <laughs> At least you're not like Kaveh. <laughs> oh goody, you're here! Uh, do you need help with anything? Have you been doing well lately? Oh come on, tell me all about it! Little sister vibes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is much livelier than my place. But it also isn't quite the bustling hive of activity the wharf is. Of course. Oh, come on. You don't have to worry about me. You see, Master has taught me that when in an abode, do as the adept I do. Um, wait. I think it's the guest should go along with their host. But whatever the case, I love it here. I just hope I'm not imposing. If you don't mind, I'd like and you know. Yeah. Ah, because you guys have less. So like how this is my bedroom. Doggy. <laughs> it's like doggy. He's just like head right inside. I don't have- I don't have that in that room. I have this one. Okay, that's in the other room. In other room. <laughs> other room. That's upstairs. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright, it's it. Is it- On CD access the editor? Eh? It's like, eh? I lose this room, right? Yeah. I have a kitty here. Not here. No time to lose. This room's empty, so it's not there. Is it this room? Looking for, uh, this. There we go. What was that called? Red pine wood stools. Right there. Yes. That's somewhere in the house as well as this thing. In the house somewhere. Probably upstairs. Yeah. 
time to lose. Not that. Um, it's this bookcase, right? I know it's this one, but is it this one too? Shue. Okay, that's that one. I thought I, this is the news. Yep, there it is. Cancel. <laughs> it's like, ah, cancel. Next. There's the table. So I need a library table, another birch, another birch. Alright. So. Alright, Tubby, I need uh, some furniture stuff to be made. This realm is. Alright. make another one. That's, um, large fire scenes. It's the library tape. This one. I need a red dye and pine wood. Oh, I can use this. Convert though. <laughs> Definitely make that. Is it this? No. 
Nope. Not that one. There it is. So we go. Where is the li the library table? There's a tea house. The Beckwood. There's only conference table. <laughs> for outdoors definitely all outdoors <laughs> all this furniture of Sumeru a lot of stuff I have not crafted. <laughs> I think the, the six stars on the flags. Creation method. Eh? <laughs> So it's indoors. That's being crafted. Sturdy library table. Oh, I can't. F I can't play. Make this. Damn it! <laughs> that one's being made. I couldn't possibly make this. Dang it, cuz. Look. I'm only at round three. Round bloody three. And you do that. <laughs> Alright. Shall we do one Kaya hangout? I'm just gonna be at Dawn Winery. Going in blind. <laughs> what the hell are you staring at? Shenanigans and sweet wine. Oh look. What? That would be Don Winery. You're at Port Ormus? Why? <laughs> the dealer sent you over there in like a shipping package. <laughs> I love that, that was actually true. Dealu got tired of Kaya just shipping to Samaru like go away. <laughs>
Just the Kaya. <laughs> hey, little birdie, don't feel down. Come and perch on my shoulder. Don't be shy. I'll show you around town. That's all it does for sound like. Really? No wonder they never pay attention to me. <laughs> uh, forget it. I probably shouldn't be anthropomorphizing them anyway. <laughs> Haven't seen you in some time. To which one of the Animo Archons wins do I owe the honor? <laughs> your natural charm. Oh, -ho. is this your way of saying that you missed me? Whoa. Since it wasn't meant to be with this little birdie, I'd better leave it alone. Let's take a walk, shall we? <laughs> that bird's like, mm-hmm. If you're wondering why I'm here, Jean's been worrying about trade safety recently. I discovered this when I unwittingly burst into her office to save the day. <laughs> Another job involving long distance travel falls to me. I suppose it's my own fault for having such a strong sense of duty. Still, on the bright side, business is now taken care of. And I have unused travel funds, so I was planning to. I was planning to. That's different. Gundafar, we are in the middle of a war. Your place is at the front lines by my son's side. Pray tell, what provokes your unwarranted return to the palace? A matter of utmost importance, your majesty. Such that I must personally report it to you. Oh, play. Huh. Outdoor theater. Looks fun. Huh. Actually, yes. I saw some guards do a musical performance when I was traveling with their caravan in Sumeru. <laughs> they were desert dwellers. So are these actors. <laughs> and I think I actually recognize one of them. Oh. On, let's go watch. Alright. It must be one of the tales of the former. <laughs> let's see. Yep, staged. Oh, that wasn't there at all. They just built it. <laughs> That's funny. Your Majesty, not only has God bestowed the throne upon you, but your beloved son, Prince Kubad, has led our brave warriors to victory against Frasyav's army. His men have laid down their arms and fled. That's some fancy outfits. Frasyav's brazen ambition is no more. <laughs> he has bowed his head and now presents to your majesty an offering of treasures and hostages, as well as a plea for peace. My king, this battle has finally restored the dignity of our people. Moreover, with Frasyav's offer of land comes the opportunity to expand our borders, as your majesty so greatly wishes. His Highness the Prince and I believe this peace settlement will be a great boon to our nation. It is for this reason alone that I have removed my armor and made haste back to our halls from the front lines. My king, what say you to this proposal? Ah, it's the tale of Prince Kubad. Ever heard this one? And uh, Don't worry, I still remember the general plot. Let me fill you in on the background while the king deliberates. The main characters are the brilliant Prince Kubad and his war-hungry father, King Kabus. Mm. The one talking to the king right now is Gundafar, the prince's tutor. Oh. When the prince was young, the king was deceived by a malicious rumor that the prince had mistreated his stepmother. He demanded that the prince walk through a blazing fire to prove his innocence. Wow. The prince emerged unscathed, thus proving his innocence. But the seeds of doubt had already been sown in the king's mind. Now uneasy in the presence of his mistrustful father, the prince requested to be sent away to the battlefield where he would fight against Frasyov's army. That's the enemy general we heard them mention just now. This is the part where the prince has won the war and decided to forge a peace with the rival nation. He wrote a letter recommending peace to his father. Oh, it looks like the king's made up his mind. Let's keep watching. How bad is this going to be? Frasyov lost because he did not have the blessing of God. 
Our God will always watch over us and punish our enemies. Once the bells of war have begun to toll, they shall not cease until the blood of our enemies fills the land. There can be no victory until the last enemy soldier has fallen. If Kubad still wishes to be my son and hold the intaglio I bestowed upon him as proof of his royal blood, then he must obey my command. Wow. Your Majesty, I must caution that a nation destroyed is not a fallen city writ large. Now, the loss of one city strikes fear into the hearts of our enemies, compelling them to accept defeat and cede land in exchange for peace. If, however, we insist on bringing a whole nation to its knees, then so long as a single person is left standing, they will see us as their sworn enemy and one day return to us tenfold the pain that we have inflicted on their nation and family. My king, a people is to their nation as wild grass to the open prairie. Though we burn down the whole field and spare not one blade of grass, roots continue to grow unseen beneath the surface. Come the spring, it is all but inevitable that fresh green shoots will rise up from the ashes. Cease, Gundafar. Your mind grows dull in your old age, filled with naive delusions. Oh, he is wearing a wig. I just You'll see have it. <laughs> no more need of you on the battlefield. As for my son, Kubad, I will summon him back to the capital, so he may be tried by a court-martial. What are you saying, my noble king? Why must you mistrust your own flesh and blood, and sink ever deeper into the blight of hatred? When he was falsely accused, you once doubted his honor, and made him walk through a raging fire. Did he not prove himself worthy by emerging unharmed from the flames? Now you would turn me away, when I seek only to provide the wisdom of counsel. What is the justification for this? The justification is that my word, not yours, is the law of the land. Cease and be gone, Gundafar, so you may spend the rest of your days with your wife. Oof. What has become of the king that I served with my life? Fanaticism has robbed him of all reason and wisdom. Peace is surely the most favorable path for our nation, yet he refuses to accept it. King Kurt of power. Seize control of the army back from the hands of my wayward son, that they might continue the fight to the end. Perhaps the first task should be this. I shall send a loyal contingent of warriors to eliminate Prasiak and the hostages he has sent to our palace. Brilliant acting, Darbil. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you approaching us in the middle of the scene. I was worried that my performance would be subpar and you'd think I was just making a fool of myself. Not at all. Far from it. Actually, let me introduce you. This is Darbil, the actor for King Kabus. When we first got to know each other, he was still a guard for one of the merchant caravans. Seems like he's now made the switch to full-time acting. Hello. Nice to meet you. And you're a friend of mine. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I wasn't making all that much as a mercenary. It felt right to me to get away from the danger and live a more stable life. Huh. I was already pretty good at telling stories, so I just recruited a few friends and started performing shows all over the country. Full disclosure, we had to put this little stage together using whatever wood and cloth we could borrow. It's really low budget. Anyway, we're all good enough at acting to get through the motions, but none of us are any good at coming up with a script. Everything we tried to write just sounded off somehow. So I got a student from the academia to adapt an old story I knew to make it more appealing to our audience. What do you think? Passable? I could tell that you've had someone tighten up the lines. They turned out very nicely. Ah, that's good. Well, as you can see, even now, we still don't have much of an audience. Don't suppose you'd be interested to see the rest of the show? Sure, why not? I don't have anything pressing lined up. And I don't think the Traveler does either. Tickets for two, please. <laughs> There's no need for tickets. You could just get some food from Jafar Tavern. We've worked out an arrangement with them. We've actually found a sponsor for this performance, too. He's not too happy about the poor turnout. Oh. I doubt we'll be able to keep him for the next performance. A real pity. But what can you do, huh? 
Darbil Asgar still hasn't shown up for the next scene. We should get his costume and sword out so they'll be ready to go the moment he gets here. Darbil Asgar. I have to get ready for the upcoming scene. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Hey, girl. <laughs> Would you two like to order some food? What can I get you? If you're looking for recommendations, today's special is the tandoori roast chicken. Oh. Ah, bear with us a moment. We're just going to take a look at the menu. So, how did you become Tomodachi with the uh, Darbil? <laughs> I was at Port Ormos discussing some business opportunities, and some crook was trying to pull a fast one on me. Darbil took pity on me and politely asked him to make himself scarce. He's a good guy. A decent storyteller, too. There's a lot of fun to be had if you hang around interesting people doing interesting things. Especially if you're in the company of an interesting friend. That's my secret formula for staying in a good mood. Try it out sometime. You'll see what I mean. Thanks for waiting. We're ready to order now. We'll take you up on that tandoori roast chicken. And let's throw in some desserts, too. One each of the rose custard, mm -hmm. that tamumba, mm -hmm. and the patisara pudding, please. Oh. That should see us through the show. <laughs> wonder how that voice actor of Kaya can uh, not mess up. Oh, hey. Alright. <laughs> oh, hey. We've got good seats. Close to the stage, but also not too crowded. We can watch the show as we eat. If I remember correctly, the next scene should focus on the prince. If the guy shows I won't up. Spoil it for you. You have to experience it for yourself. You could say that. It's always stayed with me because it's hammered home a cruel but realistic truth. Oh. People do not choose where and when to be born. Yet the circumstances of their birth define the choices that they will have for the rest of their life. Oh. Here you are. The check's on the table, too. Just call me over when you're ready to settle up. All right. No need. I'll pay up front. Here. Keep the change. Thank you, sir. Oh, uh, but, but this is too generous. <laughs> call it a token of my gratitude for the excellent service. The food all smells wonderful, too. So please pass my compliments to the chef. Thank you so much, sir. <sighs> Let's dig in, traveler. Dun, dun. Hey, Kaya. Uh, I'm so sorry. But the actor who plays the prince has run into some difficulties and won't be able to make it. That oh, here. Can't do the rest of the show without him. So I'm really, really sorry, but we'll have to call the show right here. Uh, can you use an understudy? Like, Ooh, Kaya? That would be fun. I wouldn't say no. I, I was just kidding. Darbil, would you lose any income if I were to mess this up? Not really. I mean, there's not much of an audience here anyway. I wouldn't want to take too much of your time, though. Ah, don't worry about that. I like to be spontaneous now and then. Spice things up a little. Let me think. Well, you already know the story, so you just need to memorize a few lines. Huh, you know what? This might actually work. Ah, wait, but Kuban has a specific costume he's supposed to wear, and there's no way you'd fit into it. <laughs> Switching actors is one thing, but wearing street clothes on stage would really ruin the immersion. I just noticed yeah. his body type's different from the guys. <laughs> well, good thing that I've actually got a costume with me. It goes pretty well with your stage, too. Oh, it's from the... You're kidding. Uh, can you show it to me? Sure. If you can show me the way to your changing room. It's in the restaurant. Follow me. <laughs> it's the event one, isn't it? Uh, yep. <laughs> in case you missed the event. I think I actually look pretty dapper in this. It's a pity I don't have many opportunities to wear it in public. There you go, said for oh, saying. Not a fan of me as a prince? <laughs> I'll have to act my heart out so you'll be too dazzled to make any digs. 
<laughs> Kaya, here's your script for the next scene. It's not too long, but you also don't have very long to prepare. Do you think you can memorize your lines in time? Only one way to find out. All right, let's see. Okay, I think we've covered all your lines and movements on stage. You haven't had long to prepare, so don't worry about forgetting your lines. We'll remind you. All right, I'm good to go. Great, then let's get this show on the road. What does it really look like? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, sh even the waitress is right there. General Kubat, son of Kabus, the fate of this battle is clear. I beg you, please spare my few remaining men. They no longer have the strength to fight back. Frasyav, though you now lead only the husk of a once mighty army, I have no desire to crush your dignity. Even your most savage warriors have no desire to see further bloodshed. And none among your ranks have opposed these peace talks. Nevertheless, I must hear it from you one final time. General Frasyov, do you agree to sign a treaty in good faith and commit from this day forth to peace between our nations? With my army in ruins, I am in no position to do otherwise. But on this, I give you my word. Yes, let us end our hostilities. And send our surviving men home to their families. We share the desire to lay down our arms for good and liberate our hearts from the dirge of hatred. Then, as God above is our witness, by the authority vested in me by this intaglio of King Kabus, I hereby declare that I will spare your hostages and what remains of your army. May peace be restored to this land, and may these fields of war become a place where crops grow aplenty. My tutor, Gundafar, has already made haste to my father, the king, with the recommendation of a truce. It is my sincere hope that he will see that peace as a path to prosperity and grant me his blessing. Prince Kubad, your name is renowned throughout your land and ours. I will place my hope <laughs> in your words. One will find on a battlefield no master of ceremonies, nor the paper on which a treaty may be signed. In their absence, let us raise our weapons and swear an oath. I, Kubad, son of Kabus, hereby pledge protection to that <laughs> all of your king. May the oceans be stained red with my blood if I am ever to renounce this oath. Wow. Your friend is so dreamy. He's not a real prince by any chance, is he? Wow. Hey, Rishana, you don't want to miss this. The good looking guy who left that huge tip is acting on stage with Darville's troop. <laughs> Darville's one lucky, lucky man. <laughs> I return, your highness. I hope I'm not too late. Have you already promised peace to Frasyov? Nay. I am not so rash as to preempt my father's blessing. I promised only what I could so far, the safety of his kin. My child, I must share with you the gravest news. Kabus has become blinded by fanaticism and hatred, and will stop at nothing to vanquish every last man under Frasyov's lead. How can this be? You mean to say that my father has rejected our proposal for peace? He has indeed. I urged him to reconsider, and for this I was rebuked and dismissed from his service. But far stricter punishment than this awaits you, should you return home with your troops. Please heed my warnings, dear child. I dare not imagine what unspeakable atrocities your father intends to commit. Nay, the truce must stand. I cannot renounce my oath. How can man claim to stand above beast without remaining true to his word? The masses have grown weary of death and conflict in both our nation and theirs. Are we all now to bend to his will and massacre countless more to satisfy a desire that is his alone? Oh. When I departed my beloved home to fight in a foreign land, I did so to honor his wishes and for my duty to our people. Alas, is this fate's grand design? Uh, <laughs> is this... 
fate's grand design? Kaya, the next line is, Alas, is this fate's grand design? That I should spend the rest of my days in a foreign land till I am laid to rest in a grave far from home? Must it be so? Huh? Wait, that's not part of the script. Kaya, did you not hear me? My dear audience, I ask you this. Do you believe in fate? If fate decreed that your life was to end in tragedy, what would you do? Ha! <laughs> Why did you throw the prop to me? Oh. Challenged fair race above. <laughs> then so must it be. Yes, so must it be. I shall discard this intaglio and rid myself of the shackles of fate. Wait, but that's not... My dear prince, do you intend to betray your father and abandon your heritage? <laughs> Fate means to send the machinations of war to every corner of the land, to fan the flames of conflict till they engulf the entire world. Fate would see my sword tainted with the blood of innocence. That the bright banner of my homeland might fly in every nation known to mankind. But I shall not bow to the will of fate. I am no pawn in heaven's plan. Bravo! Where did this guy come from? Is he one of the new hires? Hey, shut up. Stop interrupting. <laughs> I, Kubot, will spend the rest of my days in a foreign land till I breathe my last in a place far from home. Oh, at least he brought it back in the end. Prince Kubot, my child. There is no need to be rash. Please bring at least your fortune and the retainers who will always be loyal to you. Mm. Gundafar, my dear mentor, you have always been like a father to me. It brings me only anguish to bid you farewell. But I must walk this path, or freedom dies by my hand. Goodbye, my tribe and kin. Farewell, sweet land of my birth. <laughs> Goodbye. My child. There we go. <laughs> the improv. <laughs> so how's it, Kaya? Ooh, it's Prince Kubad. Could I please get your autograph? <laughs> Why, certainly, ma'am. Thank you. I'll just go find a pen. Good shit, Kaya. Feeling more like a fan now? <laughs> Acting is quite fun. If there ever came a day when I left the Knights of Favonius, I think I might go into acting full-time. Darby, could you introduce me to this young man? Toos. <laughs> uh, my apologies, Master Toos. I somehow missed you in the crowd earlier. <laughs> I was some distance away. I just came over near the end after I noticed the large crowd gathered around the stage. The performance was outstanding across the board. I knew that the poor turnout over the past few days was just bad luck. It was only ever a matter of time before you hit it big. The <laughs> improvised section was particularly good. I think you could include some improvisation as a staple in future performances. As for the prop he threw, no need to get it back. It's fairly cheap anyway. Thank you, sir. And a big thanks also to our wonderful prince. Had Kaya not agreed to fill in, we might have disbanded right on the spot. Kaya, was it? Well, young man, I must say, you've made quite the impression on me. <laughs> My caravan is always loaded with the finest food and wines. You're welcome to visit at any time. Thank you for the invite, sir. But I'm afraid I've reached the end of my time at Sumeru. I'm sure that my friends and family in Mondstadt must be missing me terribly. <laughs> <laughs> well then, consider it an open invitation. Once you've been bitten by the travel bug, my friend, you'll be getting itchy feet again before too long. My door is always open. If you're ever interested, please ask Darbil to reach out to me. Darbil, we can continue discussions on the sponsorship once you've wrapped up today's show. Ah, oh, he's a man. Back to the inn. Thank you so much, Master Toos. I'll see you shortly. <laughs> Seriously, Kaya, thank you for bailing me out again. You're a good guy. <laughs> the gods bless you. You know, you should stay for a few more days. I owe you a meal at the very least. Darbil, 
Asgar is back. He lost track of time playing Genius Invocation TCG. You've got to sort him out. Wow. Genius Invocation again? Ah, <laughs> uh, does it. That kid's not getting away with it this time. Uh, please excuse me, Kaya. I will be right back. He's playing cards. <laughs> There's no rush. <laughs> okay, I think they're all gone. Let's slip away now while we can. <laughs> Let's slip away while we can. <laughs> Oz is like right there, like, hey. The show is pretty good. Are you guys professional? <laughs> it's like how that guy's like, nice, are you professional? All right. Right. This should be far enough. Don't think they'll find me here. People were starting to expect a lot of things that I didn't sign up for. Besides, the missing actor is back now. Darbil shouldn't be needing me to stand in again. I don't mind socializing, but compared to chatting over food and drink, I much prefer just going wild on the stage. What about you? That bird. Did you enjoy the show? Oh? I was expecting a lengthier critique, but you've thrown the question right back at me. Sneaky. <laughs> All right, I'll rise to your challenge. Let me think. <laughs> that bird. All the world's a stage and all the people merely players. Does that answer your question? Huh. Perhaps there's an inept god out there deciding everyone's fates, much like the academia student drafting Darbil's scripts. Oh. Yeah. Inept is a good word for it. <laughs> Honestly, it might even be a little too civil to describe a god who turns fathers against their sons and is bent on endless warmongering, don't you think? Sweat. Anyway, That's Natlin's god, isn't it? The god of war? Wake up and realize they don't have to follow the script. There's nothing to stop them from following their gut and making it up as they go along. Oh, my dear traveler, <laughs> please don't take me too literally. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Everyone, you and I included. If you don't like the script, just walk off the stage and join the audience. You always have a choice. A little too obtuse? <laughs> Relax. Be yourself. When I did my little bit of audience interaction back there, you had no time to prepare. You had to just say what you thought in the moment. I think those spontaneous thoughts are often the most authentic. And that's why I liked your answer. You're still holding on to the Intaliu I threw you from the stage, right? Keep it. It's been the most fascinating day, hasn't it, little birdie? <laughs> Birdie's like, no! <laughs> He's like, no! <laughs> it's fascinating, isn't it, little birdie? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, it's right here. Yeah, that's one of the side quests with Kaya. Yeah, I do the others off cam, unless you guys want me to. It's but there, and that goes straight. Surprise, his uh thing didn't pop out. That's good. Can we have a keychain hangout? <laughs> But yeah, that was fun. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the stream here. Man, because it's getting pretty late. We're gonna see Wednesday's stream. I'll think about it. It might be more Minecraft dungeons. Or I'm gonna see if we can do Demonologist or Phasm with the fam. We'll see when we see, alright? I hope you guys have a nice night for Tuesday and those on the other side of the world a Wednesday, alright? Bye! Night!